Visayas Literature Visayas is one of the Philippine three main island groups. The region has seven islands which are Cebu, Bohol, Leyte, Masbate, Negros, Panay, and Samar. But among these islands, let's just focus on the most diverse destinations in the Philippines, the Queen City of the South, Cebu. Scenic Spots One of the scenic spots of Cebu is Temple of Leia. The Temple of Leia is a symbol of undying love of husband and to his wife for 53 years. The second one is Cebu Tawas Temple. This temple has become popular because of its artistic structures. It is found in Burning Hill Subdivision, Cebu City. Next is the Kawasan Falls. Still in the south of Cebu is the breathtaking Kawasan Falls. Some hikers of Osmania travels to Kawasan Falls after camping, but you can just go directly to Kawasan Falls via Barili. When we're going to talk about culture, Cebu is largely Roman Catholic. Santo Niño de Cebu, the Holy Child Jesus, is the patron of Cebu. The statue is located in Basilica Menor del Santo Niño, which is known as the Philippine country's oldest church. The Sinulog Festival is one of the grandest, most distinguished, and most colorful festivals in the Philippines. The major festival is held each year on the third Sunday of January in Cebu City to honor the Santo Niño or the Child Jesus. It is fundamentally a dance ritual which remembers Filipino people's pagan past and their recognition of Christianity. Roasted pork or lechon is one of the most famous food in Cebu City. You will see it everywhere in the street because Cebuanos prepare lechon when there is a special occasion. One of the Cebu's writers is Gisdado Alisna. Gisdado Alisna, born on May 18, 1909. He created a Cebuano verse from Sinaloy and has won frequently prizes, and including the 1966 award for the most outstanding poet. One of his works are Ang Gahong sa Awit, Kalimti Ubiyai, and Si Cristo sa Balabag. Next is Marcelino M. Navarro. He was regarded as a father of modern Cebuana short story for his use of realism and depictions of fictionalized version of his hometown barrio Toyong in Carcar, Cebu. He grows up in Toyong in a small barrio in Carcar, Cebu on June 2, 1914. He later was laid to rest upon his death on March 28, 1984 in his hometown. He is best known for the short story Ugi Anud Ako that won first prize in literary contest by Visaya Magazine in 1937. Next is Dr. Erlinda Quintanar Alboro. She is an active member of Women in Literary Arts and writes poetry in both English and Cebuan. She teaches on the anthropology of linguistics and she has written 54 works in four languages. In 2012, she was honored at the 79th RCP Awards for her contribution to cultural research of literature folklore, linguistics, and history of the Philippines. One of Alboro's literary works are Sinugang, Lula Cebuano, and Subuanong Balang. And this is all we've got from Group 2. Thank you for watching.